Hello, this is Jane Goodall with a message for Earth Day, Earth Day 2021. It should be a day to celebrate the existence of planet Earth with its amazing diversity of plant and animal species, its beautiful forests and oceans, rivers and wetlands, prairies and all the other wonderful habitats. A small green and blue sphere circling the sun. Of course the sun has other planets, but planet Earth is our home, and it's our only home. So Earth Day is a day to reflect not only on the wonders of our planet, but also on the harm that we humans have inflicted on it. A few years ago, I was honoured by the Cherokee people with a naming ceremony. The native name they gave me translates as Sister to Mother Earth. It's one of the greatest honours I've ever received. I was thinking about this the other day and I fell into a strange state, a bit like a waking dream it was. I was somewhere in space, looking down on my sister Earth, so threatened by human activities. The waves of the sea seemed to be asking me to clean the water from pollution and plastic and the fish wanted to be saved from huge drift nets, and all the animals of the ocean were desperate for a way to escape the non-stop terrible sonar noise. It was making their lives unbearable. The trees were reaching towards me with their branches, even as a giant machine was slicing through their living trunks, and the forest was weeping tears of sap, begging to be saved. The tall golden grass of one of the small remaining patches of the prairies was sighing in the wind, and everywhere the animals were reaching towards me. Frogs and water birds pleaded as their homes were relentlessly drained for yet another industrial complex. Elephants and rhinos, lions and tigers, pangolins and bears and sharks cried out as they were killed for their tusks and horns and scales and bile and fins. And there were animals struggling in vain to escape wild snares and leg hold traps. Plants and birds and small mammals and the soil itself were slowly dying from the agricultural chemicals sprayed onto our food. And it was not only among these animals that there was pain and suffering and despair. There were millions of people living in poverty and children crying out with the pain of hunger. There were people fleeing their homes that were no longer habitable because of climate change or because of persecution or armed conflict. There were people without jobs sleeping on the streets. We must remember we are animals too, and we are part of and not separated from the natural world. We depend on Mother Earth for clean air and water and food and everything. In my waking dream, I wept for Mother Earth. And then, softly at first, then louder and louder, came the pattering of feet and the hushed voices of hundreds, no thousands, millions, millions of children. Children running to save the trees and the rivers and the oceans, running to help the animals and nurture the soil. We're coming. We will save you. We will fight for you, they whispered. They were from every country, every culture, every religion. They were coming in togetherness, and they were reaching back to their parents and grandparents and their friends. Mother Earth needs all of us, they were saying. Phew, well, now I'm back in my little attic room, my office and studio for the duration of this pandemic. What shall I say to you this Earth Day? It's a day to plan what we each can do to heal some of the harm that we've inflicted. We've all been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic in some way or other. So today on Earth Day, let's remember that we brought this pandemic on ourselves by our disrespect of Mother Earth and our disrespect of animals. For we have created conditions around the world that made it easier for pathogens to spill over from animals to people and created new disease. 
we created conditions such as the destruction of habitats, wildlife markets, factory farms, and the trafficking of animals or their body parts around the world. And at the same time, we inflict fear and pain on millions of sentient beings, each one an individual with his or her personality and emotions. We need to reflect too on this Earth Day, how this same disrespect of the natural world has led to the twin threats to our future, climate change and loss of biodiversity. The effects of climate change are already apparent around the globe. On this Earth Day, let's think about how we can create a different and respectful relationship with the environment and with animals, and a new, more sustainable economy. And let's work to end discrimination, alleviate poverty, and reduce the gap between the haves and the have-nots, because it's this social injustice that leads to so much of the justifiable resentment and anger that can lead to rioting and violence. And of course, it also leads to misery. We must learn to live in peace and harmony with each other before we can all live in peace and harmony with Mother Nature and the animals. There's one important message I want to share with you. There are so many amazing people out there fighting for planet Earth for her people, her animals, her environment, especially among the indigenous people who've been custodians of the natural world throughout their long history. Some amazing documentary films list the wonders of nature so that more and more people realize the importance of working to protect these wonders for future generations. There are companies working hard to ensure that their products are ethically sourced and produced. There are programs like the Jane Goodall Institute's Takari program that help people in poverty find ways of making a living without destroying their environment. Because you cut down the last trees and fish the last fish in desperation to feed your family otherwise. There's increasing interest in producing food in partnership with Mother Nature. Methods like permaculture, regenerative agriculture, agroforestry, small family farming. If food grown in a sustainable way without chemicals costs a bit more, well, we value it more and we waste less. And the waste of food around the world is shocking, especially when we think of all the people living without even one good meal a day and innovative technologies are continually finding new ways for us to live in harmony with nature, as scientists use the brilliant intellect that we have been gifted with. And each of us is beginning to think more carefully about our own ecological footprint. So today, let's all think how we can each do our bit, for every single one of us has a role to play and each one of us can make a difference. Let's all work together, parents and children, corporations and NGOs, governments and the general public. Let's make a list of things we can do to make this a better world for people, animals, and for planet Earth. Not just today, but every day. Let's think of every day as Earth Day. Thank you. <laughs>